Hi guys! I'm sure all of you are thinking about your garden. Won't be long until winter is over, snow will be gone, and everybody will be bringing their outside seedlings out or buying seeds and such. Well, one of the things that we're going to grow this year is some squash, the dark green variety. And um, pretty much, uh, most seeds are pretty good. You can get better quality seeds, but pretty much um, the, the newer the seed, the better it will grow. But there are seeds that are really old that grow too. And a lot of it depends on how long it will take to germinate it. Just a little tip on seeds. So if you see a great deal on seeds, you may want to pick some up. I'm recording from my kitchen island so, excuse the cords. Um, a couple of things I want to tell you about squash, especially if you've never gardened before. Squash seeds are so easy to grow. It's a shame to go out and buy the plants if you have the time to replant them or to you know start them in the house and you have the spot to do it. Um, they're just really super easy. Just put them in some dirt and they will just kind of go themselves. They do have some issues as you grow them and as they go grow along they can get like some powdery mildew on them and stuff but pretty much if you um, keep them ventilated and don't have everything all clustered together and such you should be pretty good but you know it's like anything else trial and error your dirt your spat sometimes you just got to move things around one thing that I like about squash is you can grow it vertically. You can put up a stick and tie the plant to a stick or fence or whatever, and you can have it growing vertically. Now, they don't have like natural tendons that pull out that make it climb on its own, so you have to tie them if you do this and just kind of train them to kind of go where you want. Hopefully, you know, it won't be a lot of work for you, but they're pretty easy. When they're young, they taste the best, so you want to kind of pick them when they're young compared to getting the great big huge zucchini. And you don't want to get too many zucchini on the vine anyway, so it's just good to kind of pick them off. They'll, they'll just be better all around for you. They have a beautiful flower. I'm kind of a funny person. I love the flowers of vegetables. So if you have it on a trellis, you can actually look and have a nice pretty flowers in the morning coming from the city so to speak and clay from the country i just love the flowers they reminded me of day lilies and unless you're a gardener you would probably not know the difference as i didn't until i got working more with them but i think they're just beautiful and um you can eat the flowers too i believe i don't we've never done it you'd have to do your own research on that you know, to kind of find out, but I'm pretty sure you can eat them. Um, other people in the comments, you know, please share what you know about squash, as I know that um, we have many viewers here that have never grown it. Um, they do need a lot of sun, and so you're going to want to put it in a nice sunny spot. And I hope this helps you. I hope you decide to take a chance and grow some zucchini. Right now, it's winter time, so it's a great time, probably in February, to start your seedlings for squash. And then you can kind of, you know, do your own research to kind of get it going. And, of course, if you're a YouTuber, I hope you'll put up videos of your squash that you grow, whether it's on your windowsill till you move it outside or wherever. So, anyway, this is Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. And remember, big or small, you too can have a backyard, can have a backyard garden. Big or small, you too can be a backyard farm.